Hi, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Well, today is the second uh, YouTube in a series of uh, three or four, I haven't decided yet, um, that I'm going to do using uh, a set of new bauble Christmas stamps that I illustrated. They're called two-way overlays. Let me just recap so you know what this is about. Uh, these are, these are two-way, they two in a set, and you'll see here, for example, you've got the positive and the negative stamp. So this set sits over the top of that one. We've got Happy Christmas. Then we've got Peace on Earth, again, two-way. And then we've got Joy to the World. Uh, they sit on top of one another, and the detail is in the negative. You see the detail of the sky is in the negative. Also, when you get the stamps, they come with masks which is really useful and I'm going to show you how the masks work in conjunction with the stamps today too. Now last time I was here wearing this jumper we looked at Peace on Earth and I showed you how for example you can, uh, this is the one we did, uh, how you can just use the second stamp. I used uh, Distress Oxides with this one so do please head on over to the um, to the other YouTube for that and then I also showed you how you can overlay so uh, you can see here for example that's a better one can I just do that a little bit that's better right and you can see here how you can just overlay uh, the, the second stamp on the first stamp and if you offset it a tiny bit which happens more by chance than by calculation you get these fantastic uh, drop shadows you see here as well a bit more extreme um, but I like that one, so I'm sticking with that one. Okay, so that's what we did last time. And this time, what I want to show you, I've got it behind me. Don't go away. I'm going to show you a really simple card, but I won't show you it. We'll do the reveal on it, okay? We'll do the reveal on it. That's just in case this doesn't work. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to use Shenandoah card. Shenandoah, we've got different sets of these. I'm going with the Shenandoah petite toppers because it's thicker. Uh, it's, it's a card as opposed to a paper and the designs when I did them I did them on Upo paper so this is actual size design. This is what I did with alcohol inks on Upo paper. They're very nice and they're really nice for stamping on directly which is pretty cool. So Shenandoah that's the one with the landscapes in it. What I'm going to do is take that piece of card, that designer paper. I just wanted to show you, you know, because like, like I said last time, Christmas is one of those times where you, in the, in the card making calendar, where you really do make more than one card as a rule. Um, and so I wanted to show you a very simple, if you're making cards for charity, for example, or uh, you've got a big family, or you just like sending cards to all your neighbours in the community, then these are great because they clearly come from the same recipient, but they're all different. So you've got something for everyone here. So I'm just going to take my Joy to the World. I've inked it up with uh, a black... See now, let me tell you something else. I, I procrastinate. When the stamps come to you, they come on uh, this this indexer. Now I use the indexer. The reason was because in just then I thought, well, where am I going to put it? I'm not sure. And of course, the fast drying ink is drying fast. So I use the indexer before I start to decide where I want the stamp. Do you see? Do you see what I'm getting at? I can decide where I want to position it before I begin. And then I've decided that before I ink up so the ink doesn't dry on the stamp while I'm hovering around deciding where I want to put it. This is well worth having. And it's a good, it's a good when, you're, when you're putting your stamps away, it's a good place for relocating the stamp. So then we'll just pop this on here like so. I think this is going to be exactly where I want it, like that. That's where I decided. And then I'll just press on the stamp. Like last time I showed you, if you're struggling with big stamps, and these are sizable stamps, if you struggle with big stamps, large stamps, then you can always mount the stamp on, on a piece of acetate. And it, that's easy then, because the acetate is more bendable and you can just squish it if you like. Right, but I'm using a mega mount here. It works, there you go, beautiful. So I've got a really nice image now, joy to the world, and the designer paper is giving me all the color. 
enter the mask. So these are reusable masks. You can use them again and again, relocate them on their um, carrier sheet, the wax sheet. Now, if I just, I hope this ink is dry enough. Let me just pop that down there. Right, I'm going carefully because the ink hasn't dried perfectly, but it'll be fine. This is removable, a removable mask. Actually, I might use that. Then I need, I want to make this jump out. And the way to do that is with a brush. So bear with me a minute. Here's a brush. I've got loads of them, but I want a black one. And what we're going to do now is just add a little bit of, see, this is where the masks come in handy. I'll just use the same black as I, I was using earlier. You can use any ink for doing this. Right. And what I'm going to do is now build up the colour. Now, watch where I'm sitting. I'm sitting in the middle of the mask and then I'm just spreading out. So by the time I get to the edge, if you like, I'm already lifting off. So you'll see now. What's, what's nice is by using this particular kind of ink, because it's not opaque, it's translucent, I'm, I'm, I'm not losing the texture or the pattern in the background. I'm just adding a little bit of a, a drop shadow, if you like. And, uh, and then you just work your way around. I, I would just stick on that side there. I don't think we need loads. And a little bit up the top in the dark area. All right, let's have a look. And perhaps I'll use a how to clean my mask if I use a makeup sponge because I'm using a fast drying solvent based. Well, I don't know if it's solvent, but that's fine. It's definitely permanent. Pigment. OK. Um, I could just clean off my mask like so. And then I'll lift this up and you'll see that even though you think, look, da da. You don't think you've done much, but it's interesting, isn't it? How you, how it really changes the, it's just clicked over. So I'll sort that in a minute. Right. But you can see how it really makes the, the inside pop, but you're not losing the pattern around the outside. Really easy. And then all you do, let me just show you, this is dead straightforward. All you do is cut it up, mount it on a manila, card blank, add your little thing that I did last time, little hanger. Uh, all is calm. That's from that set of Christmas um, messages. You know, the stickers that I was showing you last time too. This one here, all is calm is in there. And, um, and there we are. So there's another really nice bauble card. Um, I hope you like that one. Very easy. The baubles are all available on our website and there's a special offer, I know that, three for two, www.claritystamp.com. Let me see. I blog every day. I do. BarbaraGrayBlog.com. We also have a Clarity Stamp Matters blog, which is great. It tells you everything that's going on at Clarity Stamp. If you like what I'm doing, then please just uh, like and subscribe and then you'll be notified every time we do a YouTube. So thanks very much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.